BMW M3 drops, Honda goes earthquake hunting, and GM rides a Segway. I'm Ji Young Min, and this is Fastlane Daily. It's official. After months of teasing, BMW finally revealed its latest M3. That's the 3 Series E90 model powered by a new high-revving V8. That engine produces 420 horsepower and 295 foot-pounds of torque. The newest M3 debuted earlier this year in concept form at the Geneva Auto Show. BMW says the production model will share some of the same components with the prototype, including the engine, which was derived from BMW's V10. We'll see the new production M3 up close at the Frankfurt Auto Show later this year. Where's the nearest earthquake? If you were driving the next Honda Fit for Japan, the nav system would fill in the details. Honda recently showed off a new in-car information system that warns of impending environmental hazards. Those include heavy rainfall and, yes, earthquakes. Honda says its navigation system already offers traffic alerts, but the new setup adds weather data that shows up on the monitor as a series of exclamation points. Honda says it plans to offer the system as part of its free service, but users will be charged network fees on their mobile phone bill. No word on how well the system can detect the presence of irritated lizards. Fastlane Daily tipster Wojtek tipped us off about a 23-year-old man in Savannah, Georgia, who was injured earlier this week when his car plunged six stories out of a parking garage. But it wasn't a random incident. Cops say the man had been practicing drifting techniques when a Chevy Cavalier went out of control and slid off the parking deck. Witnesses say they heard tires squealing before a loud crash. Let that be a lesson. Don't try to recreate scenes from the transporter in a Chevy. Next up, GM building a diesel Segway and a Ferrari fanatic with too much time and money on his hands. That's in the internet rumor mill after this. Where, Where do you watch Fastlane Daily? Fastlane Daily? I never miss it. That Derek D really cracks me up. I never miss an episode of Fastlane Daily. Even on the job. Derek D. Good, Jiang Min, better. In fact, when I'm on the job or anytime, I'm always ready to check out Fast Lane Daily. Always fresh, Fast Lane Daily. Got a story for Fast Lane Daily? We want to know about it. Give us a call at 213 291 1883 or tips at fastlanedaily.com. If you just can't wait, send us an aim at Fastlane Daily. And don't forget to subscribe to Fastlane Daily on your favorite internet video provider. A diesel powered Segway? No, it's not for the fat security guard. Car Magazine says General Motors is working with a Segway company on a diesel hybrid concept car. The report hints at a prototype using a diesel engine to charge a set of electric motors. The details are still sketchy, but Car Magazine says the concept will use GM's E-Flex platform. That's what lies beneath the GM's Volt plug-in hybrid show car. We'll see what all the fuss is about at the Frankfurt Motor Show in September. And finally, our friends over at Ferrari Chat forwarded us a story about a Ferrari fanatic who's gutting his Testarossa for what he hopes is the project of the century. He's planning to swap out the flat 12 with a turbine engine, giving him the first jet-powered Ferrari on Earth. And if you want, the original engine and transmission are for sale on eBay. That wraps up Fastlane Daily for today. Tune in next week when we drift a jet-powered Segway off of the Empire State Building. See ya.